Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm out on the road in Bristol, South Dakota today. Ran into my good friend Alan Henslin with Henslin Auctions here. And Alan, thank you for giving me the heads up on a really, really unique sale you guys have coming up. It's July 15th, is that right? Yep, Thursday, July 15th at 10 o'clock a.m. Greg, thanks for coming out to Bristol. Uh, we're selling a, a very, very unique uh, Ford uh, collector tractor auction. Uh, for some great, great folks uh, in the in the Bristol area, but uh, Linda, um, we're selling for Linda Anderson. Her husband Gary passed away not that long ago. Just an honor to be out here, and, and you're going to see uh, later on in this video some excellent, excellent, uh, unique tractors that we're going to be selling for. for Linda, so. Yeah, I was looking at your website, HenslinAuctions.com, Alan, and wow, and you, you guys do an awesome job with pictures out there. Just uh, if you like Ford tractors, folks, we got a story to tell you here, and again. We feel bad that it was a circumstance for Gary passed last fall, but uh, uh, you, you took me off, Alan, and said Gary and Linda had, had followed Machine Repeat, our TV show, a little bit, so we wanted to come out. So Gary and Linda are huge, huge, huge uh, Machine Repeat uh, fans, and, and nice watch, people. watch the shows uh, uh, just whenever the shows were on. So Linda's uh, absolutely ecstatic to have you here, and we know that Gary's with us today. And, right. And, um, yeah, it's, it's an honor to have you here, and it's an honor for us to be here to do the sale for them. So. And quite a sign out front. Linda was mentioning that over the years, uh, this has caused a lot of semis driving by to stop and uh, inquire about the Ford tractors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're well known around the area for, for having unique items, so it's, it's, like I said before, it's just going to be an honor to be here. All so right, well, let's, let's go meet Linda and get a look at those Ford tractors. Sounds great. All right, folks, I, I want to introduce you to Linda Anderson here. Uh, Linda, this is a sale for your husband Gary had passed away last fall, um, and you guys had spent a lifetime um, collecting Ford tractors, and I love your shirt, by the way. That's fantastic. And folks, I, I, let me pan around Linda and show their beautiful barn in the background with the Ford sign, just fantastic. Now, Linda, uh, we wish it was a different circumstance, so we were, we're here today, but uh, thank you so much for the invitation to be here and see your tractors. Um, and you have quite a record that you have kept over the years as you and Gary were collecting your tractors. If we can get in close, can you tell us about the book, Linda? Our youngest son put this together. Okay. We gave him the information, of course. Sure, sure. And we are very proud of it. So each tractor had its own little record? It it tells where we bought it, how much we bought it for, uh, the serial numbers right. and so on. Right. And Linda, how far back did you and Gary start collecting Ford tractors? I, I think uh, as soon as we got married, okay. uh, he taught me how to... Um, drive one of the Ford tractors. Oh, sure, sure. And, uh, and you guys both grew up right in this Bristol, South Dakota area? Yes. I wanted to uh, say he, I, I did the digging. Okay. And he did the seeding. Oh, sure. And he ate my dust. He entered the field. <laughs> so that tractor, I know. Right. And you were telling me, Linda, that Gary, he basically grew up driving Ford tractors, a Ford yes, family. since he was five years old. Five years old. Okay. Very cool. Well, that is an impressive book, Linda. A lot of love went into uh, compiling that. Now, can we go into your, your beautiful uh, shed here and get a look at your yes, four tractors? Come on. Okay, awesome. And we have some friends here, folks. Uh, come on over here, gang. We got to introduce some, some of Linda's friends. Hey, guys, come on over here. <laughs> Quit looking at that tractor and come over here. <laughs> okay, on the far left here, we have Greg Anderson. And Greg, you've not a family? No. But you've been helping out on the farm here for? I'm on my life. Okay, yeah. awesome. And this is uh, a nephew? Lance Anderson. Lance Anderson, and Lance, your son Landon. Yep. Okay, and you guys live just up the just road here? Just a mile here? down the road. So when I was driving in and that versatile tractor I saw up front, yep. that was yeah, your guys? Ford tractors there too. Nice. Yeah. Pretty much the Ford country here. And next we have, this is John Horder, folks. You maybe know John. He is the owner inventor of the Rock Block. We've done some, it's a fantastic uh, invention. John, and you reached out on Twitter, told me about your neighbor's uh, sale here. Thank you so much for the heads up. We appreciate it. My pleasure. And to John's left, we have Jerry Roich. Roich. Yes. Jerry, and how do you spell that last name? R-O-I-T-S-C-H. A good German. 
Yeah, write me a couple checks, you'll remember. <laughs> I will do that. Jerry, and a good family friend of the Andersons yes. here? Okay. And you, did you help Gary with some of the tractors over the years? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do a little walk and talk here, guys. And just feel free, anybody, to, you know, what you want to mention. Now, gosh, we're starting off with a demonstrator here, Linda. Yes. That gold one is a demonstrator model. And that's a 971, is that? Okay. <clears throat> I don't see a ton of those. It's a Selecto Speed. Yeah. It's a beautiful tractor. And now right next to it, this is an interesting one. Uh, what do you know about this this tractor, Linda? Well, this is a Air Force tote or tug. A tug, tug. okay. How you would say it. And one time when we took it up to the mall in Aberdeen, the Lakewood Mall. Uh, Wait a minute, you took it up to the mall? You drove it to the mall? No, we, we hauled it to the mall. Okay, gotcha. Was it a tractor show up there? Yes. Okay, because I was going to say, if you just drove it to the mall to get some cookies or something. No, huh? no, no. <laughs> we sh showed it off. It's but beautiful. Anyway, anyway uh, there was a young whippersnapper uh, close by, and he was staring at it. Yeah. And he said, my grandma used to drive one just like that. There you she go. She was in the Air Force. Nice. And she hauled planes around. Well, it's a cool piece of history, isn't it? Where did you buy it from? Where did it come from? Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Mm. That one came from. Okay. Now, folks, let me do. Let me first just do a little pan all around the shed here because this shed, if you love Ford, no, don't run away, guys. <laughs> you stay in the shot there. Look at this. Unbelievable. Fantastic. And again, go to, <clears throat> go to henslinauctions.com. Fantastic pictures there. And again, the auction is July 15th. But Linda, let's uh, continue down the line here. Now, we have a pair of uh, Ford Sincere. Forts and Majors. Yeah, the, these are the oldest tractors we have. Okay. Um, and they're the only ones with a magneto. Okay. And, um, Th these were made in England. Yes. And ev everything's backwards on them. It, it, it was quite a challenge when, when Gary first got, got them to run. You know, the key goes the other way, the gears are different. European headaches, Jerry? Pardon? European headaches. <laughs> now, if they were German-made, that would yeah. have been nice. And, yeah, there you go. Okay. Well said. Yeah, they're, uh, and they got, they got a little electric hookup on the back. It must have been for trailers or carts, whatever they okay. did. Very anyway. cool. Cool cool looking tractors. Now, the next tractor, Linda, yeah. did, did you tell me that that is the tractor you learned how to plow with? The middle one. The middle one. Okay. Yeah. Are these th all three 6,000s here? Yeah. Are you going to start it up for us? No, I was going to. Oh, it's got a horn. Yeah. Oh, horn. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Helps it go backwards. Yep, he's backwards. I must be pushing something on then. But it's pretty unique, pretty unique sound yeah. to it. Very cool. cool. So you have three six thousands here. That's a sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, and sixty-five. Okay, well, these are beautiful, Linda. And again, you the middle one you learned to plow on. One just like it. What do you remember about those when you were learning to plow, those early days? I remember the comfort covers. Yep. And I don't know. I was cold. <laughs> you were cold, My yes. My mother was babysitting the... Now, Linda, just a question here. All I these... didn't like going uphill, bringing it too far off the ground. Uh, yes, correct. What uh, I should ask, Linda, you and Gary over the years... How far did you guys go to find these tractors? Like, what's the farthest you went to buy one? I think probably New Paris, Indiana. Oh, you visited our, our good friend, uh, the Polk Auction out there, Dennis yes. and Jeff. Yeah, good folks. Yeah. Very uh, cool. Gary went to buy one tractor and he bought two. Well, that, that's a good trip, isn't it? <laughs> Come home with, a, with an extra. Uh, did, didn't Augie Root in Mesa buy him one out of California? 
Yeah, but we didn't go there. No. El Centro, California. Is where one came from. The one from. with the Came from California. The okay. Front was okay. That was the last one you got right there, wasn't it? The single front? Wasn't that the one we just, you just one, of the, one of the last ones, but the single front. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we've got some unique tractors here, folks. Uh, boy. This one will go 40 miles an hour down the road. Not, not with me driving. Not you, Linda? <laughs> How, who, now, who in this group would drive at 40? Lance would, would I land. Heard my son would push land it, it. Push it even more if he Landon, could. would you drive that thing forty? Sure. Atta boy. Atta boy. Just wear your crash helmet. Yeah. Uh, now this the eight forty one with tracks. Man, that is a unique tractor. Have you have you guys owned this one quite a while, Linda? Oh, about ten twenty years. Okay. And what do you know? You know much about the tracks or guys? Jerry, do you do you know where? Had to work on no. Uh, I know about the other one, not this okay. one. Okay, yeah, there's another one on tracks over here, folks, in 8N, back uh, at the end of the second row. But, uh, boy, you want a unique tractor right there, selling July 15th. Yeah, Just beautiful. The, the Lenko uh, front wheel front assist. assist. Front wheel assist, rear tracks. But Pretty I think cool. Gary added the duels on the front. I don't think it... I don't think it came that way, did it, Linda? It did come right. with the duels, or he, right. he added them? No, he added them. On the front, yeah. Okay. And he put, he put on the... Track. The track. Tracks. Himself. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Does it get muddy out here in, in uh, eastern South Dakota often? Well, it Pretty... hasn't for a long time, but <laughs> once in a while. Could use a little rain, I'm hearing, but... Uh... About 97. Yeah. Okay, well... There we go. And then we got a little 4,000 here. Yeah, this baby is Priscilla. You named this one Priscilla. Yeah. Now, why did you name it Priscilla, Linda? It just came, it just was a good name. And, and she did a lot of work mowing. What, mowing. Priscilla would mow. And what, Priscilla have a good temperament? Yes, she, she's tried and true. She's tried and true. There you go, folks. You can buy Priscilla, Ford 4,000, good mowing tractor. Now, look at this. Not something I run across every day, an ultra high crop. This actually is my most unfavorite. <laughs> Why is that, Linda? Because it's up there so high. You have a little fear of heights, huh? And it's my great grandson Drake's favorite. Oh, his favorite, okay. How old is, is, is young Mr. Drake? He'll be 10 June 17th. Oh boy, wow. Well, this 3600 ultra high crop, folks, again, just don't see many and look at that condition. You, do you by chance remember where you guys found that one, Linda? I don't know. It's hard to remember when you have this many, isn't it? <laughs> the history on all of them. But another unique tractor right behind it. Yes, it's an Austin <coughs> 2000. And that one we got at Dennis Cook's auction. So that came out of Indiana, our friend Dennis, the Offset 2000. Beautiful. Just fantastic. Now, as we turn the corner yeah. here, a couple more 2000s. Couple of Dexes. No. Yep. And Linda. One's a sixty-two and one's a sixty-three. That's all okay. I know. Linda, can you can you just talk a little bit about when you and Gary would go out? You'd see one available at an auction or something. The, just the fun of going out. We on had the friends. Hunt. We had friends tell us. I saw one in Cortland, Kansas. Ah. I think you need to buy. So we. As your collection grew, the word of mouth grew about yeah. Ford tractors. Yes. Okay. Now, how did you decide which ones to pursue? And did you did you have ones you were specifically looking for, or just kind of happened you know, over there? No, we wanted them all different. Okay. Unusual. Sure. Yeah. Something he didn't have. Something something unique. Right. And then he was something on the unique. hunt. Jerry, do you do you have uh, what memories do you have of Gary in this collection? Uh, did you have favorites? Uh, Ones that were toughest to work on. Uh, well, the, the the Jubilees, the and and then the uh, demonstrator models, the, okay. the gold ones. The gold yep. ones. Boy, that was really something. Because they had the extra chrome and then the color. Right. And, yeah, those are those are beautiful, aren't they? Just beautiful. Are you a Ford guy, Jerry? Uh, I I have a couple Ford. Gotcha. So just the fact that you didn't have all Fords didn't stop you from coming to help, did it? <laughs> <laughs> and who, in this area around Bristol here, uh, who would have been the Ford dealer going way back? You guys remember? Oh. Um, you say who? Well, probably uh, Groton uh, Rock. What was it? Uh, Matt Rock. 
Bowles and Rock. Didn't Bowles start in Groton and then went to Webster? And then, uh, okay. Well, didn't, didn't uh, they were the poor dealer, yeah. Bowles and, Bowles and Sour. Bowles and Sour. Yeah, they, they started. They were there. Groton. Yep. They were everything. Back, yeah, they were everything. so they were selling cars too? And yep. Like cars a Main Street dealership? Swathers and yeah, they sold everything. Right. Back in the day when small towns had three, four, five right. dealerships each, right? Yeah. Mm. I used to work for them. You did? You well, did. they weren't it wasn't sour then. That was years before that. Uh, Greg, you're just, you should have put a blue shirt on today, not a green. <laughs> I got, you know what, I got a blue coat I can go home again. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little warm here today, yeah. boys. We won't make you put the blue it coat on. It Greg on it. It says Ford on it. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Very cool. And, and then later, uh, how far is it to Clark? I mean, that's where you'd get a lot of parts, uh, Olson Ford. Got a lot of parts. Yeah. But they're closed, they're closed down now. But, now, but I mean, Aberdeen and later times in Watertown. You guys would get the parts you needed to work on the tractors? Yeah. Okay. It got harder and harder to get the parts. Yeah. That's, uh, oh. He ordered most of them online, you know, the last sure. few years. Sure. Or he had special, them special, what were them companies he had? They Who was the guy up in that? Canada? Yeah, the guy in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Good source and reasonably priced. Yeah. For Ford parts? For yes. Ford parts? Yeah. Okay. He, he would meet us in Minot. He had a okay. girl go, going to college there. Sure. Well, what do we have next here down the line, Linda? A single front. Single front. I like those. Eight N. Eight N. Linda, I, I got to share this. I told you the story about eight N's. It sucked up a John Deere. <laughs> <laughs> we are at a true Ford collector uh, place here, folks. Look at that. Sucked up a John Deere. <laughs> Did you guys ever own a John Deere, Linda? No. No. You're greenless. Well, uh, the little ones. Sure, sure. Uh, very cool, very cool. Uh, how about back in the corner here, what do we have? We have some majors. Majors. We got... Made in England. Yes. Was it, uh, did Gary talk about um, those English made Fords that he liked in particular for any reason, Linda? Well, I don't know, but I used to call them <laughs> the old maids. The old maids. <laughs> I was sure his dad was uh, talking about the old maids, and ah. finally I realized it was the old major. I, <laughs> I called a baby corn with a two row corn with one of those. Nice. nice. Some of these are four cylinders, some are six cylinders. That yeah. one is a six cylinder. This one? Okay. And, and, and the majors are the most dependable tractor. Boy, they, all, they always start, they always they go, done. and never mm -hmm. have hardly any trouble with it. Do you know anything about, this is a six cylinder, I think. Oh, it's this one, this one. He got this fully restored. Okay. And I don't remember where, but it's, it's elongated. Hmm. Well, Does Linda, that, you, that's a good question. Greg? The tractors that you guys bought, were most of them in this condition or did you guys work on them? Gary worked on them when he could. Okay. He, he painted them, he did everything on them, but the rheum, rheumatoid arthritis mm. got the best of it. Sure, very difficult. Uh, it's kind of still in business, a repair shop in Holmquist, uh, Harlan Marty and Felix Spearing. Okay. Uh, they worked on, if anything was wrong, if he couldn't fix it, he took it in and they fixed it. Gotcha. It, uh, w when, and then he'd take them a lot of, if, you know, if he didn't paint them, he'd have, uh, in Webster, uh, Brian Center, Brian Center painted, okay. and when when he brought them back, they were a hundred percent. I mean, he had tractors. Uh, the three point, if it didn't work, uh, he'd get that guy in uh, Canada. He'd get everything it was to fix. You know, even if he was never going to use the three point, it worked. And Greg, now you, I'm trying to remember. Did you mention that if you told Gary you needed a battery? Oh yeah. If I told him the battery, he'd bring back three. And then if he, I told him it needs a fuel pet cock, he'd order three. He did everything by three. He just he wanted, got three of everything. Just wanted to be prepared. Or is that the best deal, buying three? No, I don't, just I don't bought know. He three. like to get three. I like to get extra. John, as a neighbor uh, with Gary and his tractors, what did you have some good conversations with him over the years? On? Oh, yeah. As long as you talked about four tractors, you were fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of a John Deere guy, so I had to bite my tongue a yeah, lot. Yeah. Um, but the thing that I always have an impression about is so all these tractors, we pulled them all out on Tuesday, 
and got them all out and running. We never washed any of these. I mean, this mm. is the way they sit. I mean, wow. everything that Gary and Linda ever have is in great condition. Their yard is always perfect. Right. You know, so that's, you know, everything is just so nice and well taken care of. So that's that's what I always remember. Kind of goes right out to that sign out front, the, the pride of ownership, yep, right? Exactly. Right. And Linda, what, what would you say to that, to, to Gary's and your always having to have everything just, just, just so? I think he's going a bit overboard. <laughs> Well, I know John a little bit. John is not. It's a lot of work to keep it. Yeah. Nice. Right. We're right. always picking up branches and. Yeah. You guys just wanted your tractors to to be right and look right, right? Very cool. All right. Well, let's keep going to. Oh, another six thousand here. Now this one. There's a little story on this one, Linda. Yes. Where did you find it? Crosby, North Dakota. Okay. Um, uh, it was painted blue. Okay. And Gary got excited when he saw. Scratched a little, saw a little red paint, and he knew it was a 62, okay. which was a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and his dad had gotten this tractor, or a one, just like it. Sure. When um, he, he went to college. Okay. And he said, "I'm gonna quit college and go home and run that tractor. I'm not gonna let any hired men run that tractor." Nice. So finding this one had some good memories for Gary then. Oh yeah, I, I prayed and prayed that he could get it running because it, it wouldn't run. And he got it running? Yes, and he was like a kid with a new toy. Wow, very cool. Driving around the yard. Just like when he was 18, huh? Very cool, it's a beautiful tractor. And Linda, the blue or the red, when it comes to Ford, you like both colors, or love them both? Yep, yep. gold yeah. even. Yellow. Gold, uh, even gold. Now, right as next. As long as it's a Ford. Next door. Now, am I right, Linda? The next tractor in line is your all-time favorite? Yes. Very unique one here, folks. Don't see many of these. A County Super 6. And you found this one from a well-known Ford collector in Minnesota. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Well, this one gets bonus points, Linda, because I'm from Minnesota. So, <laughs> there, there you go. But, no, that's a very good tractor. Now, did you describe driving it as dusty? Or, or who? Yes, I did. With the front tires being oh, large like that, yes. it, it's fun to drive. There's a lot of power there, but there's dust rolling too. So. A wet day might be a little better, huh? Right. It'll we'll knock down right. that dust. And would you take this to uh, local shows or anything? Or how? Oh, yeah. Okay. And over Threshing Bee. And where was ten, that held? Ten miles down the road every year. What town? Andover. Andover. In, in uh, Labor Day weekend? Yes, the weekend after okay. Labor Day. Well, check that out, folks. The weekend That's after that. Threshing show in Andover. And they're featuring Ford this year. They are featuring Ford. There you Ford. go. Very cool. Well, again, uh, I don't see many of those, Linda. Did you, did you drive this tractor much? No, I didn't, actually. But you had you and Gary, um, you had been looking for one for quite a while? A, a county? No. Um, or it just happened upon it? Russell Johnson... From Minnesota. Yep, yep. He just, I don't know. He talked tractors with that, yep, that guy. Yep. Well, it is beautiful. Makes someone a great tractor. I just dusted them off and <laughs> tapped them and <laughs> held the charger. I was did, lefty, now, did you have to I give I was your, lefty's right. Lefty's right. He was right. left, left nice. handed. Okay. Now, on, when it came to the purchases, Linda, did you guys team decision, or did you have to sign off, or did you have to tell Gary to buy more? You were always poking him to buy another one, or how'd that oh, work out? I was pretty much poking him to yeah, buy another one. Yeah, you wanted another one. Gotcha. I like to drive the Fords. Very cool. Another 2,000 here? Yeah. And this one, uh, low center of gravity, this was a go like a golf course tractor maintenance? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, he's got the more out of that. Uh -huh. Gang more. Okay. For golf course, yeah, the more out of that. There you go. Okay. Now, what's the story with the next one here, Linda? Well, was this a neighbor that? No, actually, he didn't know the guy from um, 24 miles north from Britain. Jamie Carlson gave this tractor to Gary, hmm. and it didn't run. It was back in the trees, and his wife wanted it out of there. Yep. And the story is. Jamie could remember when he and his grandma went to the hardware store and bought a gallon of paint 
and brushed it on. And so that's why it looks the way it does. It's just the way it is. Well, we all age, don't we? <laughs> it's, uh, but, but it's I running suppose, good now. I suppose uh, folks all over knew that you guys were Ford collectors. Yeah. You helped. I put, we put uh, points in it, all new wire, a new wiring harness on it, okay. new carburetor, and a new intake, okay. and we got it running. And okay. new tires. Oh, yeah, they had new tires. Had new tires but we put the boards on it. We got boards, the boards, the set boards on it. So and it what, runs good. What was that now, a little different uh, job for for you guys there, given it wasn't in, you know, super duper condition, but still kind of fun he to work on it? He didn't want, didn't want to see it that way, where yeah. it didn't run. Yeah. He didn't want it. So Fixed it up. It run. Nice. Brought it back to life. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, Linda, a 5,000. We have a super major. That's also made in England. Yep. You guys have quite a number from, from overseas. Now, Linda, we're going to stop here and look up a little bit. This Ford tractor sign is just awesome. And that is also selling on the auction? Yes. Okay. It is. Now, did you say you found that at a, a sale in Minnesota? Just south <coughs> of the cities. The south Twin of cities. Twin Cities? Okay. You know how long you had it? Uh, probably 10, 20 years. 10, 10 years. Wow. It is way cool. That'll be uh We were always gonna put a hole so you could see it from the road, put a hole in the oh. but we never got that done. Well I don't No that is that is double sided too. Yep, double sided. Side lights up just like yep, that. double sided neon folks. Very, very cool. Very cool. And again go to henslinauctions.com. You can check out pictures on all these tractors and uh what a nine eighty one here, Linda? Selecto speed. speed, yeah, yeah. And then we move on down to a 541 offset. Sharp, two, two offsets. Yeah, sharp one. looking tractor. On this one, it should should notice the step. Okay. Uh, is, isn't this a buggy step? Yes, he has a buggy step on a lot of them because it well, was getting hard. He, he, he saw one on a tractor somewhere, and after that, he bought every buggy step he could find. Yeah. There you go. And put them on the yeah, right beside it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And more tracks, Linda. I think, I, I remember seeing Jerry drive that one through water. Yep. Uh, I think he bought the tracks at Andover at the okay. traction deal okay. you know, when they had their annual sale. And it was quite an episode to get them on. Uh, and then one track was missing a few links. And that's when he went on the hunt. And I think that's when he found another set and then ended up buying it too and had that on hand. Okay. So you drove it, Jerry? Oh, yeah. What, is, what does it drive like? Oh, it's just smooth. Uh, you can't hit uh, it, a little rattle to it. Uh, you can go over the gravel, go anywhere. It, it's just hardly noticeable. Now, turns, as, turns as short as ever. Did you get some looks when you were driving it? People pulling off the road, like, what the heck? No, no, just, just drove it in the just yard. Just in the yard, okay. You know, you'd run through the water and, you know, it didn't right. leave a track. Right. Neat, really a neat. Yeah, that will be a quite a neat tractor. Well, Linda, so we've made the tour inside. Now, you have more tractors out around the corner. We do. Yeah, let's go have a look here. Go back into the warm South Dakota sunshine. and uh, I'll just pan down here, folks. I mean, four tractors in every direction. Just beautiful. Again, the auction is July 15th, Bristol, South Dakota. It's a live on-site auction here. And if you just, you know, come out and soak up some awesome Ford vibes. I mean, again, look at the barn over there. Uh, Linda, you guys were just Ford through and through. And I loved your shirt when you when I hopped out of the truck. I saw Ford. That, that must be Linda. Yep. <laughs> okay, let, let's go look at some more big blues here, Linda. We have an 8600. And what do we have next to it? That is a... Uh, Five, five, five thousand. Okay, five thousand with a cab. And this belonged to his uncle. Oh. He got it at a farm sale. Okay. And it runs. It runs great. Used for putting up hay thirty years ago, and then yep. just a little utility tractor after that. But I remember Get. Linda's 
boys using that as a mower tractor. Yeah. Us kids had a lot of fun when we were 12, 14 years yeah. old. Lance, uh, what memories do you have? Uh, you grew up down the road here, yep. coming over here to the... We were back and forth a lot on our bicycles. Yeah. And the motorbike. And the motorbike and as the we dogs. got a little older. And with the dogs, yes. But, and the Ford tractors growing up, always just uh, good memories. Yeah, my dad has Ford tractors too. Not quite to this extent yeah. of the collection, but he has Ford tractors too. So we we're familiar with the older model Fords like, like Gary. Did you have a favorite of Gary and Linda's Ford tractors that um, for any particular reason? County Super 6 probably. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't That's it? a nice tractor, yeah. yeah. I remember getting to drive that the first time, a little nervous, and Gary yeah. said, oh, you'll be fine. Just, you'll be fine. I was. Just so dusty. Turned out good. Just dusty. It's just a little just dusty. A little dusty. That's, That's all right. right. We can get dusty. And there's the 8600, folks. Again, uh, you can see the condition on all these tractors. Just wonderful. So, uh, yeah, Linda, thank you again so much for giving us the walkthrough and showing us the, the wonderful notes you've taken over the years as you've amassed this collection and um, you now you are keeping some tractors is that correct very few very few okay we saw out by the sign there's a, some more beautiful Ford tractors you're keeping those though yes out by the road yes okay and again that, that I'm giving them away that sign Anderson the family it's just an amazing sign out there uh, I bet people smile when they drive by and see that they slow down yeah, I bet they slow down, <laughs> right. Well, Linda, again, thank you so much. I know the sale will be a big um, success July 15th. Again, thank you for showing us and just hats off, you know, for your what you and Gary did here over the years uh, amassing this collection. I know a lot of hard work and love went into it, so uh, job well done. Thank you for coming. Nice to you, too. You bet. And thank you for watching our show all these years. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Thanks, Linda. So Alan, wow, what a sale. Uh, what a treat to walk around and learn about these tractors with, with Linda. Um, and again, the sale is July 15th. Yep, Thursday, July 15th, 10 a.m. I want to welcome everybody out to Bristol, South Dakota. Uh, it's going to be an on-site and online auction. More information at henselandauctions.com. The sale will be powered by proxy bids, so um, you can certainly go on and, and preview the sale, uh, get your bids in early, and then... Um, yeah, if, you, if you can make it to the sale, we'd certainly love to have you here and, and want to welcome everybody to, to the Linda Anderson Farm, and it's going to be the Gary Anderson Estate Auction. So. And that Ford tractor sign, Isn't Neon, that, that's that awesome. selling too, right? Double-sided Ford tractor Neon sign. So wow. They bought it about 20 years ago, and were able to um, uh, put it together. It, wasn't in, it was working a, a little bit of it, and they... They are re uh, remodified. It's I beautiful. Say. Yeah, it's it's a one of the one of the highlight pieces. So. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Well, Alan, hey, thanks again for the heads up and the invite. Yep. To come out and learn about the sale. Uh, thanks July. for coming. To, yeah, thanks for coming to Bristol. I know the Anderson certainly appreciate having you here, Greg, and uh, we appreciate everything you've done for us in the auction industry. So. Well, thanks, Alan, and check it out, folks. Hensonauction.com, July fifteenth, uh, Bristol, South Dakota.